Opened in 1985, the Lost Dog Cafe serves up the area's best pizza, sandwiches, and beers from around the world. But it also serves up some serious compassion. Founded by area locals, the Lost Dog Cafe started with a few lost dogs looking for a home. Now with the Lost Dog and Cat Rescue Foundation, the owners help almost 2,000 animals every year find permanent loving homes. So it's a restaurant with more than just amazing food, but also a healthy heart. How did the idea of Lost Dog Cafe come about? Uh, we came about many years ago when there was a small wine and cheese shop available in Westover. So we purchased it in 1985 and it has grown into the Lost Dog Cafe because we're rescuing a bunch of lost dogs. And then you opened the Lost Dog and Cat Rescue yeah. Foundation? The Rescue Foundation came about in 2001. We started out really small and now it's grown to we have 3,000 volunteers and we're at five events every weekend without fail. How can people learn more? Is there a website? Where should they go? Great. We always need volunteers. We always need foster parents for some of these dogs coming out of shelters or puppies, cats, kittens. Go to lostdogrescue.org. You can sign up and volunteer. And you have a new location now. We do. We have four guys that worked for us as drivers when they were like 16 years old and uh, they all went out into the world, got real jobs, got college degrees and uh, came to us, approached us and said that they were interested in opening, you know, a franchise of Lost Dog and they did it, you know. They really came out and did it and they have a wonderful location in South Arlington on Columbia Pike. Columbia Pike was easily, easily the uh, the pick for us. Originally, when uh, Jim and Wes and Dana were looking at the project, uh, way back when, two, three years out, we actually originally came to this uh, location as a first starting point with the Columbia Pike revitalization. It's a no-brainer. South Arlington's been calling for a lost dog for ever since I can remember working there. So. They opened their arms for us, and we've had we've been successful since day one. So far, so good. So we're excited to be here, and, and they've really the community's embraced us quite a bit. Can customers expect more restaurants in the future? Yeah, we're uh, we're looking to move slowly but surely. Pam and Ross are fully supporting the four of us uh, right now. So we're looking forward to move into Alexandria, McLean, maybe DC. But right now we're focused on uh, McLean as probably the, the, the future site of number three. It's a place where you can, a neighborhood feel, where you can come in and relax and get, you know, good, feel good food and just chill out. Well, I can't wait to get back there and see how you cook it up. Can we head back? Sure, come on. Hey, we're in the kitchen with Pam at Boss Dog Cafe. Pam, now who is this? This is Ford coming. He's our manager here. You have so many great looking sandwiches. Let's start making one. Is it okay if I prepare a little too? Absolutely. Put some gloves on and you'll be ready to go. Alright, so today we're making 45. It's called the Fat Molly. Basically, you're going to start with crush the pita with garlic butter. Does it matter how much I put on or just, can I just, just put a little a bit? On? That's probably a lot, isn't it? That's all right. I like my garlic butter. And then just a tiny bit of chicken. All right, then we're going to sprinkle it with a little bit of red pepper and a little bit of spinach. All right, so then you're just going to take a little bit of mozzarella. I like mozzarella. And then a little bit of feta on top. And then oh, and a little basil. All right, and then it goes in the oven right here. Delicious. Definitely used a lot of it. I especially love it with gloves on. Delicious. Good job. Oh, All right. What's next? Hey, Pam. Ford hey. tells me that you're baking up the pizza pie. Yes. So what are you baking? We are going to make a Rin Tin Tin pot. And what it is, is it starts off with a whole wheat pizza dough. It's, a, it's better for you. We dock the pizza so that uh, it'll cook thoroughly all the way through. 
and you won't get any of those annoying bubbles that you see sometimes on pizza. We're gonna start with a, a, a marinara. We need to take some uh, a light base of cheese to start with. We take sliced portobello mushrooms. Then we put some red onions on. Red onions tend to have a little bit of a, a different flavor than the white onions. Red pepper. That looks very healthy and yeah. delicious. Let's wrap some spinach down here. Now would you feed this to your dog? Sure. Wouldn't yeah. hurt him. Yeah, why not? Then it gets topped with a little bit of fresh mozzarella. And I noticed you put the cheese on the top and the bottom. bottom. Just kind of a layer. That's why, the, hence the pizza pie, you kind of layer it. Now I'll tuck the edges so that the edges are that looks all the way around. Yes. Then you take a little dried basil herb. You sprinkle it on. Now when this pizza comes out, we'll also put fresh basil on. Okay. Now we bake it at 550 degrees. Oh, I got a bite of basil. It's excellent on it. Those ingredients go excellently together. I know you have tons of things on the menu and you're very creative. Do you mind if I make up my own concoction? Absolutely. You want to make a pizza or a sandwich? Sandwich. How about we put the chicken barbecue on a sandwich? Alright. Alright. Let's do it. This can be called like the cat, green, and dog. What else would you like on it? Oh, everything. Under the lettuce, onions, coleslaw, mozzarella. Mozzarella. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I like it. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for having us in your kitchen. It's a great cause, too. It's yeah, been a delight. I could spend all day here just making everything on the menu and, of course, tasting it. But unfortunately, we're all out of time. But that doesn't mean you can't come here yourself. Visit LostDogCafe.com to get a complete menu, hours, and directions. And if you want to help animals in need, visit LostDogRescue.org. Stay tuned. There's plenty more to come here on Food for Thought.